Washington Athletic Club and the Players' Championship. This is the opening round for the seniors. It's the semifinals. Seniors over 40. Andy Shad coming in from Virginia and Dan Armijo from the island of Rotan. Where are you playing at? Our referee doesn't know that, Dave. And again, he, like most of them, thinks that best three out of games of 15 are more exciting, so. Well, they are exciting, aren't hey, they? Hey, Andy. Where are you playing, Adam? Uh, Washington, D.C. Dave, the energy from the crowd here is electric. Well, there's hey, Danny. another viewing area that we Where is see that? On, that we, we're not seeing Where on film right now. Uh, so of? people are watching from the front wall then? Yeah, they have a high definition big screen TV here at the facility. And unfortunately, yeah. this TV world that we live in, people would rather watch that All than right, watch guys. live really? in, the, in the stands. But that's the way it's always been here. High Tech and Washington Athletic Club, yeah. they go hand in hand. I'm going to go ahead and predict a high-scoring match here. The All loser right, will be in the 20s, ball, potentially overtime. And I'm going to predict, Dave, a one-hour match Ooh, or wow. more. Okay. Yeah. Now, I, I'm getting the over on that. This isn't like the price is right, Dave, where if it's over, right, it's guys, a bust. I win started. with the over. Wow. Yeah. 51-year-old Dan Armijo right, going Danny. up against 43-year-old Andy, Andy Shad. And our referee now, Dave, violating a Circle major rule here. Square. It's a square. It's very frustrating. All right, Andy, I guess you're serving it's not first. Funny. I know in other sports, Dave, they have right. players pick numbers at half court. And it's just part of what makes uh, handball unique. Not following the rules is really unique. I love it. Actually, <laughs> there's a rule book that we have. It's never followed, and that is unique. I, I don't think we're going to have any linesmen, guys. Maybe, Dave, in the we're game of the week linesmen. on Sunday night, they'll play with three balls as a walk instead of four. All right, serving first. All right, guys, let's get it going. All right, serving first. We have Danny Armijo playing out of Rotan, Honduras. In receiving serve, we have Andy Shad playing out of Washington, D.C. All right, it's I mean, one game to 25. Bounce, you have three Dave. timeouts. Half time at 15. Well, We're have a two I don't see why it wouldn't be. Every other rule has been broken. Zero, serve zero. This is a one game match of 25, Football. another $35 into Back the pot line, Danny. for you and I. Yeah, you were over it. It was pretty obvious. I don't see that too often. A backline football. Yeah, you were over, man. Second serve. You were over. Second serve. He's uh, referee and Dan Armijo are fans from the old days, from uh, Hood River, it sounds like. What's that? That's where they have that legendary pro-am. We apologize for Andy Shad's name being spelled wrong, but it's now right on the scoreboard. Wrong in my, right on the scoreboard, but wrong on my ledger. Unfortunately, you're not fined for your ledger. And Dave, this is exactly what I think all of us expect here from this match. These guys are replay. so similar. 22 shots, Dave, and just a replay. I predict here, Dave, we will see four rallies over 35 shots in this match. Zero, I'm gonna count zero, zero. the next one. And I count the serve as a shot. Side out. That was three shots. Well, there will be, Dave, over 100 rallies in this match, so I have a lot more opportunity. <laughs> and I am excited zero, that you're going to be zero. counting every single rally like I have for the last two years. I'm looking for a pin right now. Gives me a break. Big setup. It's a 
point. Shots in that rally. <laughs> One serve zero. Glad to see you came prepared for this match with no notebook and no pen. And Dave, what we've seen from Dan Armijo over the last couple of years is slow starts. He comes from Rotan where he doesn't have a handball court and it takes him a match or two to get into his groove. He doesn't have that luxury here. Dave playing against Point. Andy Shad. This is his first round. It's the semifinals. Two serves zero. Dave, I want to thank Brian Henson who's been one of the greatest Hosts and tournament directors that we've ever had. When we get back to the office, Dave, we're going to be putting together the list of our Side favorite out. people in handball. And he's a number one seed in my bracket. Wow, really? Yep. Zero serves two. Believe it or not, you're not on that list. Hmm. You told me I was. Oh, that was before we had Point. our differences over the last couple of weeks. What were they? I'm not sure, but there was an <laughs> icing period. Huh. That was a I didn't know we had differences. One serves two. It all started when I asked you if you could hook up my DVD player. Well, I told you how to do it. I'm sure you took my advice. I tried. Just take the HDMI, and it was already hooked into your DVD, and you but just... I don't know how to get to change the channel to get to that HDMI. That's unbelievable. Two serves one. Well, I, I, I deserve over. I deserve more than that. Mm. I'll Side help out. your kids with your math equations, but I'm not going to help you do something so obvious. You want me to help you how to show you how to breathe as well? Well, it's just a unique one situation. I thought you'd come over and it's not embrace unique. that. You plug it into the HDMI and then you click HDMI. I can't have this conversation with you anymore. <laughs> well, not part Point. of it. We want to apologize two to our two. listeners. Well, I, I, I don't know if you remember, but I knocked on your door and you guys decide not to answer. Well, when there's an 11 month baby going to sleep, we didn't hear the door. I know that that's hard well, I didn't to come over understand. to wake him up. I came over to give you well, your had paycheck I heard and the door, fix your stupid yeah, had DVD I, player. Had I heard the door, I would have two answered. Serves two. Short ball. We're all together at two. This match is Second 10 serve. minutes long and we've scored four points. Andy with Point. an open stance, kill down the right. You see a lot more of that, Dave, in the modern game. That open stance, kill. Three serves two. Short ball. Second serve. Side out. The hand there finding his range off the back wall. Two serves three. Serves two. Short. Second serve. Andy serves that ball right into An to Danny's wheelhouse. The last thing you want to do, serves, Dave, is three. give your opponent a back well set up with their strong hand on your serve. Your serve is your only opportunity to put the ball exactly where you want it. Dave, both these guys had similar pro careers, both kind of 
on that periphery of the top eight. Danny, of course, was in the top eight for some time, but then Dave, right out. later in his career, three serves two. Dave, he kind of drifted into that nine through 12 range and then ultimately outside the top 12. But Andy was one of those guys, Dave, that qualified a lot of times, never broke into the top eight. He didn't break in the top eight. He certainly shows us that he knows how to play the game. No, he, let's replay it. Dave Andy yeah, the ball was didn't it was touch a handball the front for wall, though, about then, three or four years when he moved overseas for for work, and he's come back, Dave, and he says, you know, I just love playing the game. I love being a part of this event. He has a chance to play a lot of three well out in Columbia, Maryland. I know those guys aren't watching, so I won't bother to say All hello. All right, replay three <laughs> serves two. But I will say hello to Andy's lovely Start. wife and family. And you're only saying that because they're standing 10 feet away Second from serves. us. Didn't know they were here. Well, you need to get out and mingle with the crowd a little bit. I'd more. love to, but I've been working. Okay. Sorry. You haven't missed a day Four of work since two. you've been hired. <laughs> That's actually true. And you can't wait until I do. By the way, I'll be taking a one week vacation in July. I thought Point. I'd let you know that right now. Hey, okay. Danny, can you check that latch right there? I will, in. however, be doing some work from home, so it won't be a complete vacation. I will mark it off as two vacation days. All right, that was the point. Five serves two. Well, normally you have to be employed for a year before you can take that vacation. So none of these will act as vacation days. <laughs> they will just count toward <laughs> your resignation because that's what you'll be doing once I hand you the pink slip. So I mean, you're you just gonna it's hand it to me then you won't even put it on my desk? I mean, I thought no, that was I wanna, standard. I'll, I wanna make sure it's personal. Okay. Six because serves two. I'm making this personal. Six yeah. to two. Well, you know, as you know, Dave, in business, it's always personal. Those who say it's not are just kidding themselves. Point. Check the ball, Danny. There you go. Seven serves two. I'd like to also, Dave, wish you the best of luck in your Point. experience at Venice Beach, three wall big ball nationals. Eight serves two. I can't wait to see the updates on Facebook. That was a call in two, Danny. Point. Two bouncer, Dan calls it. Dan only has two. Nine. Chad has serves nine. Two. Well, I just saved 600 bucks by you staying home. Just more margaritas for you and WPH board member Scott Cleveland. It's like that's the party ball in there. And Dave, Andy's got that's an avoidable replay. I don't, I don't know, Dave. I mean, Danny ran what right in front of him. Yeah. I don't know why Andy's apologizing. He just hit. The shot. Well, Andy apologized, but then looked at the referee. I mean, can we see a replay of that, Dave? I hope, because that was a blatant avoidable. Danny totally out of position, and he tries Nine, serves two. desperately to get himself back into the play, and I think it's about one shot after this. Two shots. It's going to be right here. Yeah. Check the ball. Well, maybe Danny's far enough to the right there. But do you see? <laughs> Andy making that look up to the ref. Replay, nine serves two. Andy's one of the good guys in this sport, Dave. One of the few. Well, finding guys like Danny and myself are, are difficult. I said Andy. Andy. Yeah. Andy, yeah. Okay. Ten he didn't seem two. like he was doing a very good job refing your match today when he missed those. Short. Eight. 
That was embarrassing. Sure okay. Second but he's serve. still a good guy, not a good ref. Okay. They actually, Dave, have a club for the good guys in handball. It's called a few good men because there's only a few of them worldwide, as you know. Brian Henson is one of them. Ugh. Matt Thorpe is another. Lon Stalsberg. So you're just going to run down the list. Well, I'm doing it. I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> Andy right Shad. Out. Fred Banfield. Okay. Mike Semplis. What about uh, two serves, ten? It's bad when you when you ask if there's somebody that should be on the list, and then they are not actually on the yeah, list. Yeah, that's, that's tough. What about Anthony Celesto? And a miss there from Dan Armijo, Dave. He goes for the back wall kill. Okay, so we're focusing on the match then? Tins, ten serves two. I've been focusing on the match. I don't know what you've been doing. Ten to two. Do you? And you played both of these guys. Do you find Andy Shad and Tommy Little to be <laughs> identical twins in the handball court? I know you'll be upset that I'm not agreeing with you, but Contact, no, replay. I don't. Tommy's got a great serve down the right, especially. And Tommy also has that unbelievable right-hand kill. Ten serves, two. I think Andy no. likes to rally more than Tommy. I mean, do you think it would be a match, or would that just be an easy win for Tommy? They're, oh, it's a good match. They're both in their 40s. I know that those guys have played quite a bit, and I'd be interested to hear the record between them. I know Tommy D was in that kind of top eight for quite well, a while, so I would two. think he's probably got a winning record against Andy Shad. Sure. You never know how guys match up in this unique sport. And a scream. It's very unique. <laughs> <laughs> Second serve. So I'm no longer on the nicest guy list because I wouldn't hook up your DVD player? Well, I don't know what made you think you were on it before that. Because you told me I was. Huh. That's funny. So you haven't been able to watch DVDs in a couple weeks? Well, I've <laughs> never watched them because I've never had it hooked up. I don't know Two how to do it. If I left. did, I would watch them. Oh, that's funny. Well, I now know how to push your buttons. Huh. Go steal your HDMI cables. And that's a terrible error from Dan Armijo. Side out. Well, even with the HDMI cables, I don't know how to do it. Do I need the remote for the TV? Yeah. Well, I can't find that. 11 well, serves it's two. It's not my fault then. So I, it doesn't work unless I have that remote then. Can I do it on the TV? Are there buttons on the side? Well, I, I can, I can jerry-rig it for you. But then would I also be able to watch cable? Well, you wouldn't watch them at the same time. No, obviously. I wouldn't. No. Yeah, you could. I'll fix it. Well, you've been threatening to do it for two weeks. Well, I live too far away. Well, it's your loss because Henry's birthday is in three weeks and you're not invited. Okay. I know you don't like cake and ice cream anyway, so you probably wouldn't even enjoy yourself. And he's able to get that back. Andy, Dave, with only right the out. second unforced air here in this first half. It's not game one. That's two another $35 fine. It's one game match to 25. Well, that's too much words. You can't put that on the scoreboard. It's been on the scoreboard before. In fact, it was on the scoreboard for the entire tournament in Salt Lake City. And you can load that up on, on demand if you need to. I really like Dave Andy's style of Replay. play because he makes you beat him. He's not going to give you points. He, he couldn't see it from before, Ann. You know, Dave, if you're going to beat Andy Shad, you're going to have to make shots. You can't count on him to put the ball on the floor. Two serves 11. These guys are playing a game of Pong in here. So you're comparing this to another sport? Is Pong a sport? That's a video game from Atari. I don't know. Mm. Maybe that is a sport. <laughs> well, Maybe in your world you call that a sport. I don't know. Well, 28% of Americans, Dave, do no Three physical activity in a year, per year. So I guess for those 28%, maybe Pong would be considered a sport. Now let me, Dave, say that again. 
more than one out of four Americans don't Point work out once four in a year. Four eleven. Wow. Yeah. Think about that. Now, I know that we're a little bit off subject here, Dave, but that is one of the great things about handball is that you can not only work out and burn more calories than you could do in any other activity, and that's been proven, Dave, but it's also fun. Well, in Tucson, Dave, we have cardio handball classes. We have instructional handball classes. So many ways for people to get themselves involved in this sport, burn calories, work out, meet new people, compete. Will one of these guys go for a kill shot? That's the question. Side out. That was a 26 shot rally. Can I change my prediction to 25 ball, shots please. or more? I'm hedging now. Felt like it was 40. 11 serves four. Well, these guys are 40 plus. Score is 11 to four. And Dave, Andy Shad had no senior race for eight Point. points going into the final stop of the season in Salt Lake City. He broke fit through there. He beat the Waddy Dog, 25-23. That's a match that could have gone either way. He loses that match, Dave. He's at home right now. Waddy Dog is here. Instead, he wins that match, 25-23. And now, Dave, he's in the driver's seat to go to the final. And based on what I just saw in the other semifinal, Dave, I would favor Andy Shad to win this championship. Very well could. Now, Nadi Alvarado Jr., I believe, Dave, still has the edge to win Senior Player of the Year. Four serves 12. That's an interesting one. He doesn't even play in the tournament and still has enough points. Well, it all started with that great win he had in Houston. Oh, and Danny had that side out lined up exactly how he wanted it. Dave, it looked like that was going to be a mouse. Just popped up. 12 serves four. Andy Davis is in complete control here. It was good, but it was screen. Two serves, one screen. Dave, have you ever seen anybody take this dramatic of a step towards the center and then serve behind themselves? No. It's really a, a trademark of Andy Schatz. Most guys, Dave, step straighter or more at 45 degrees. Andy Schatz literally steps across the server's box. Dave, you know there's an interested party now that's Point. kind of lurking in the booth. John Bike, who escaped with a win here, he'll play the winner. 13 serves four. You know he's played both these guys a number of times. I'm going to guess his record is anywhere between Short 40 ball. and two and 60 and two in those matchups. Second serve. Combined. I would say it's combined. I would yeah. say it's more like 130 and four. Well, I believe he's played Dan Armijo about 50 times, and I don't know that he's played Andy Shad anywhere close to that amount of times. I'm not counting practice here, Dave. Well, I'm guessing 100 times. 100 against, times combined? Against Dan Armijo. I'm, I'm going to say right at 50, and I'm going to give John a 48 to 2 edge, and I'm going to predict about a 12 and 0 edge against Andy Shad. Now, I could be wrong. I usually am. That out. These guys should be playing a one game match to 15. All right, that was a side out. We're not even at halftime and we're already 13. 40 minutes into it. Point. Actually, we're only 23 minutes into this match. Sorry that I'm not sorry. Five serves 13. I believe. 
believe I'll be handing, uh, great shot there from Andy Shaw. Yeah. I believe I'll be handing this golden headset to John Bike for the rest of the evening at halftime here. No, I'm sorry, the schedule doesn't have it five. written that way. Well, I, I just didn't know since the schedule hasn't yet been followed today. I thought there was a new schedule I didn't know about. Point. Need a towel? That's 14, Danny. Andy Shad serving. This is 14 serves half five. point. All right, halftime. Three minutes, guys. Three minutes. We are going to take a quick three minute break. We'll be back for the second half coming up right around the corner. Stick with us. Racerate.com. and eat healthy. All right, let's see what you can do. Right, let's go. They might surprise you. Search We Can for more ideas on how you and your kids can get healthy together. places you'd never consider texting. So why would you do it while driving? Leave risky driving to the professionals. Stop the texts, and together we can stop the wrecks. Working and working out takes a lot of energy. That's why I drink Zenergy. Feeling fantastic and looking good has never been easier. Science, extreme science for your active lifestyle. My name is Bruce Fabrizio. In 1975, I invented Simple Green based on three principles. It had to be safer to use, it had to work, and it had to be completely made in America. From generation to generation, Simple Green has been cleaning everything from car engines and tools to kitchen counters and floors. No matter what you clean, indoors or outdoors, clean it with non-toxic, biodegradable Simple Green. Prime time. We are rolling. <laughs> All right, Mama's gonna bring it home. Mama's okay. gonna bring it home. Okay. 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 Come on. Watch this guy. Oh, oh backwards. Oh. Woo. Don't. Oh. Okay. It went into Bob and Carol's yard. Oh. No. Okay. Yeah. Here it is. Oh. 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 oh, Mom. Challenge your kids to be active and eat healthy. Yeah, All right. Let's see what you can do. Right, let's go. They might surprise you. Search We Can for more ideas on how you and your kids can get healthy together. Want him to come to the booth. And well, I, I was hoping that we'd get your apology right, on tape here live for that critical error that you made on the scoreboard. So I, I'm waiting for that now. Okay, well, guess what? You're going to have to wait. Back to you. <laughs> 
Isn't that a beautiful sight? It's always perpetually 3.30 uh, in the morning, just getting ready for the sunrise. Yeah. Well, it's, the sun didn't really even come up here today. It's a cloud cover, but it's still a beautiful sun splashed over there to my right. We're in uh, Seattle, Washington. It's the Players' Championship. Let's go to back to that court here for the second half of the senior semifinal as Andy Shad gets the second serve. That means he's serving after halftime. Scores 15 to five. You know, Dave, I'd love for All right, Armio, you're serving. our sideline reporter, Tracy Davis, to kind of you're serving. try and find a seat in the gallery and talk to some of some huh? of these fans about what they've seen thus far today. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, sorry, it's supposed to be switched then. All right. All right. We're ready. You're going to take it, baby. All right. Time in. The score is 15, serves five. Dave, the first half is all Andy. And Danny starts off with a bit of good luck there, a miss hit kill shot. Not a good serve from Andy Shad. Five serves 15. Here comes that two wall serve of Danny's. Point. 16 serves five. Now, tracking the amount of hits in that first half, it's 16 they serves averaged 8.9 shots per round. Okay, sorry, my bad. Mm. Well, too bad it's not up to you. <laughs> 15 serves five. That's just all about what makes this so unique. Dave, I think that there we go. we're a little bit surprised that the rallies have only lasted 8.9 shots, and I think that has a lot to do with the airs from Dan Armijo. 16 serves five. Dan Armijo normally keeps the ball in play a lot more than he's done, but he's made a number of airs with both hands. And this is one of the best rallies of the match. Kill there from Dan Armijo. Five serves 16. That was a 14 shot rally, by the way. Five 16. But it felt like much more than 14 shots. I actually had 19. You must have lost count there. But I didn't. Were. That's an avoidable. That. Danny, I don't know what you're doing back there. Watch that. That's I know, just. Called an avoidable. <laughs> All right, five serves, 16. There's really nothing in the rule book that says avoidable warning. Referee does know that Danny shouldn't have been back there. <laughs> How does Andy make that pick up, Dave? He's our mehoing our miho. Right out. So Danny, is it wet over there? Where you fell down over on the right side? Nope. Oh, okay. All right, that's one minute. Yep. This is a player's championship. Semifinals. Dave, you play later on today. Who is your foe? And what do we expect? Well, we expect a loss for me. Okay. Two games. Uh huh. Probably no more than 
32 minutes total in that match. But aren't you playing for a place no, in getting, your pool? Well, I'm playing for a place. It'll be last place. Okay. And then when I get into the last place playoff, I'll lose that also for last place. So overall last? I'm going to be the only person here that doesn't win one match. Me and Matt McLaughlin. <laughs> but I've come to peace with it because my gloves will be in the garbage the second I get home. <laughs> you will never see me anywhere near a handball court again until I fill up the draw in, at the plumber event where I'll also lose all my matches. All right, guys, time in. Andy serving. I mean, somebody has to come in last, Dave, just like somebody has to come One in second. first. Me Why not me? Hey, we're ready. We're ready to start. All right, Andy serving. The score is 16, serves five. Short. Second serve. And there's another point for Chad, and there's going to be a warning probably to the player from the referee for for showing emotion. It's 17 sports, serves Dave. five. Uh, I just didn't know that you weren't allowed to show emotion five. here. Short. Well, he's been warning the players for using profanity on the well, I didn't hear any profanity Second there serve. Danny. That's normally Danny's best shot. Instead, puts himself Point. completely out of position, opens up the right side, and Andy takes advantage of a precision kill pass with an open stance from Andy Shad. Now that I got some actual handball talk out of the way, I can now focus my next five. five points on meaningless nothing. Uh -huh. That's actually my formula. Throw in something that is somewhat intelligent, or at least sounds intelligent, then take the next five points off. Talk about HDMIs, and <laughs> birthday parties. Top five lists. <laughs> well, I know you're surprised that there's actually five. more than five people on the good person list in handball. I know, Dave, that there might be people watching that are saying, well, what about me? Right well, out. you're not on it. You weren't Five named, serves 19. You're not on the list. I don't know about that, David. Well, you might be on another list. You know what would be really cool is to make those lists play each other in a bracket. <laughs> yeah, a has that ever been winner. done before? That's what I want to know. Has mm. it happened before? Uh -huh. And if so, what would you <laughs> name the bracket? Point. <laughs> Point there for Armijo. What list are you talking about for Six the bracket? Sixers, nineteen. Naming. The good guy list? No, the bad guy oh, list. Oh, the bad guy list. Well, generally, Dave, you want to name brackets. Replay. Honoring someone who's Green. excelled in that field. Okay. Yeah, he was bothered on that. He couldn't see it. Sixers, nineteen. Shot right there from Andy Shad. Took a little pace off, hit it right down that left wall with a little wrinkle. 19 serves Armijo six. Armijo just unable to get to it. 19 to six, going to 25. This is the semifinals of the 40s. Shad just seems to give you. That's unavoidable. Here comes the call. All right, replay, 19 oh. serves six. Just terrible. 19 to six. I thought, Dave, with the delay, it was going to be an avoidable call. And the ref lets him play there. It's an amazing get from Armijo. Gets that ball back to the front wall. This is 
the lesson of defensive play here. Side out. Armijo Dave. Armijo's short hair doesn't seem to be agreeing with him here in this match. Has not looked like himself. Six serves, 19. I don't think that's a replay, Danny. You're, you're right Andy behind him. He had a good him. pass down the right. It wasn't anywhere near his body. Oh, you set definitely up near his body. I don't think, no, that was by you. You set up right behind him. <laughs> yeah, he had, he had a good shot, and you set up right behind him. That was, a, that was a good shot down the right. I can't call replay on that. Let's watch this. Dan said the ball hit his fingertips, Dave. And I know Dan's never lied before on a handball court. That was just bad position. 19 serves six. That wouldn't have been a bad call either way. Well, Pretty close. And he was giving it to him. So yeah. that answered that question. But I'm not here to talk bad about the referees. Point. Terrible swing, though, for Dan Armijo, who loses a serve and now loses a point. 20 serve six. Short. If I know some players have been scheduled Second in the broadcast serve. booth. How's that gone so far today? Gained some good insight. Well, you said that you, you you gave some good commentary, so you took six points off where you can talk about anything. Well, those points have elapsed. You need to <laughs> point. You need to talk about the match again. Actually, and I'll answer that question. Well, I talked about that. Hinder call. Okay, but I, I didn't feel that was sufficient enough. Okay. I need more insight, All and right. then I'll answer that All question. 21 right. serves six. Sorry to place Screen. rules on you. I know you don't Screen. work that way. Well, actually, I do, and I like rules. And I'm glad that you Two embrace serves, my five screen. shot rule. Okay, I, thought I it call was that six. the one for five. It's actually five. Okay. Well, I like it that you're at five. That's yeah. symmetrical in a way. <laughs> Side out. Danny now going Six serves with 21. his two-wall left-hand serve here. Well, I think he got that from you, Dave. And there's Point. a mouse. Danny will need a lot more of that if he's going to climb back into this match. Great swing with his Seven right serves there. 21. He made that look really easy. Dave, as a player, you're thinking, why don't I just do that every time? He's got a system. I mean, he pushes his opponent side to side. And he likes that one wall bounce pass. And there it is again. The one wall bounce pass. Those are like body blows, Dave. They take a lot out of you. Yeah, but Armijo's tracking them all down, Dave. At what price, though? I mean, what does he have left for the rest of the rally or the next rally? Look at Armijo. And he gets the final point. It's unbelievable. This guy's 52 years old. Point. He gets older every time you mention his name. <laughs> that was truly remarkable handball from both guys. Armijo with amazing retrieves there. Andy Shad was in control of that rally. But sometimes, Dave, when you're dictating play and not going for the kill, <laughs> It comes back to, to haunt you. And he had a number of opportunities to shoot the bottom board. He kept punishing Danny with the pass shot. Good rally. I thought that uh, Danny coming underneath the shot was some kind of offense. And just out of Andy's reach there. Actually a little Eight contact serves 21. Between the two. Eight to 21. Eight. And Danny did serve 21. that. He hit the two wall serve with his left after winning the previous rally with a flat roll off the return of serve. Okay, I think that was a 
enough. Um, to answer your question, okay. no, it has not gone well. And now I forget the question. Well, is that another question? Yes. Well, get more insight. What was the original question? Well, you're going to have to bring more insight, then I'll answer that question. It's a tough job. It's not my fault. You can't pay attention. 21 serves 8. You see Andy giving a look back there. Sorry. He wants to keep Danny honest. He knows Danny will just creep over there to the left if he doesn't at least give him Second serve. some eye contact. Was that enough? Second serve. Can I now get? Yeah. How, how was the broadcast booth with the players? Yeah. Okay. And uh, my answer was not very good. Huh. Nobody. <laughs> okay. Point. Twenty-two serves eight. Well, that's what's so unique about handball. I watch golf, Dave, and all the players come off the 18th green. Sometimes they come into the booth, but not handball. Too unique. There's another point for Andy Shad. Coming up next, this could be the big one. Paul Brady versus Sean Winnie. serves eight. Which is a pool two round one match. Number two versus number seven seed. So you've already written Dan Armijo off here. Yes. Mm. Dan isn't the type of guy that makes huge comebacks. Replay. Check the ball, please. He has please. to kind of move out of the way there, doesn't he? At least try. I mean, he hit the ball back in that corner. What else is Shad going to do? Dave, Andy was a last-minute call-up for this tournament. 23 serves I mean, this eight. Is literally like getting called up for the World Series from AAA. And then making the World Series after being called up. Well, and then being the MVP of the ALCS. I know, Dave, you remember that great Point. Yankee that was brought up late in the season and then carried them through the playoffs. All right, timeout. That's your first well, one I didn't minute. I think you watch baseball. Now I know it. One minute. It was all just a lie. <laughs> You're watching the Players' Championship. This is the semifinals of the Senior Championships, where earlier today we saw John Bike defeat Matt McLaughlin. That means that Bike is in the finals, and it looks as if Andy Shad will be his sparring partner. That match will take place tomorrow. at uh, 7 o'clock in the evening. 30 seconds. Shad serving at 24 to 8. All right, time in. Score is 24. Possible game and match point serves 8. And Dave, we now have more people watching in the booth than we do at home and in the gallery combined. That's not a first, and it won't be a last. Mind you, there's two people in here in the booth. It, might be, it might be your last. Mm -hmm. Well. Fortunately, you have a lot of other players that are happy to come in here and pick up the slack. There it is. Andy Shad advances to the finals. He will face John Bike tomorrow at 7 o'clock in the afternoon. Early evening, or maybe you call that evening around here. But the sun goes down a little later over this beautiful no ocean, problem. Puget the Sound of Seattle, Washington. Sun sets it. And if only, Dave, they would have played best two out of three to 15. It would have been totally different. It would have been a different match. Oh, completely. Let's go to Tracy Davis, who's courtside right now with Andy Shad. Trace. Andy, congratulations on your win today, just right now. Um, despite the score, the score doesn't accurately reflect how hard won that match was against Dan. For sure. Uh, Danny's a great competitor. We've played for a couple of decades now. 
and uh, he's a great retriever. He missed several shots today that he normally hits, so I was fortunate for that reason. But uh, Danny's a great player, great competitor. It was a great match today. And even though he was in single digits, he was still making diving re-kills and chasing the ball around the back corner. Do you have fun in there having those long rallies? You guys had a lot of rallies that were 20 plus shots. Uh, yes, I think both Danny and I, are, our games are basically retrieval games. And uh, so that was just a kind of a battle of retrievers today. And he just was a little bit off, so I was fortunate. And I don't want to stir any controversies, but Omar and I were back there watching from, from the video area right here. And we saw at least three shots that could have been called avoidables. But you seem to be very calm and just level-headed and keep your, your head in there. Um, is that just your strategy, just keep trying to play it out and, and don't worry about whether or not the referee is on the mark? Oh, definitely. I, you know, Aaron called a great game. And uh, there's always a lot of close calls when guys are playing, especially guys that can run around like Danny can and I can. So you know, I didn't think there were avoidables. We were just, we were just, he was just playing close, and I was playing close with him as well. So it was, it's not a, uh, a problem to uh, play close like that. So. Well, congratulations. You're in the finals tomorrow against John Bike. Are you looking forward? I'm sure you are looking forward to that match. How excited are you looking forward? I'm very excited, and I, I hope that I do well. I, I've never beat John Bike. John Bike has beat me like a tom-tom drum my entire life. <laughs> so hopefully I can give him a game tomorrow. Well, I'm still looking forward to seeing it. Thanks a lot, Andy. Congratulations. Back to you, Dave. Thank you, Tracy. Yeah, what do you think about that interview with uh, Andy Shad? He said that he has never beat John Bike. He's always been beaten like a... A tom-tom drum, I think is what he said. Well, Dave, you're skipping a little bit. I, I love the question about the avoidables. Andy Shad, the gentleman that he is, deflected that and said, you know, we're just both playing close when, in fact, Andy doesn't play close. So one of them was playing close. Pr probably should have been three avoidables called, but it didn't matter at the end of the match as Andy Shad advances. But, you know, Dave, John Bike told me off air that they really haven't played many tournaments, but they've played hundreds of practice games against one another. You heard Andy say he's never beat them. Maybe this is Andy's best opportunity. We'll find out tomorrow night, Dave. We are going to get ready for the Paul Brady, Sean Linning match coming up next. Here, though, it was Andy Shad taking down Dan Armijo. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to be back here in Seattle, Washington at the Washington Athletic Club in just a bit for this huge match the gallery is getting ready for between Brady and Linning coming up in about 10 minutes or less. You stick around. More action at racerate.com. Working and working out takes a lot of energy. That's why I drink Zenergy. Feeling fantastic and looking good has never been easier. Science, extreme science for your active lifestyle. So, what's it gonna be? Uh, we could ride bikes, skating, movies, zoo, whatever you guys wanna do. Can we just do this? Yeah. We could just do this. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. <laughs> Take time to be a dad today. We are different. Society should aspire to be more like us. Be part of the first class. Get energized. Get outside. Hold on, guys. It's gonna get bumpy. And get moving. Experience the power of physical activity. Woo! <laughs> Join the movement at actionheroalliance.com.